Okay. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay, today we will learn a topic from matriculation or A level physics, which is circular motion. If you can see my face, okay. Here I want to show you something. I want to show you a circle. It's a red one, a small circle, and I have a big circle. So I've posed already about this shape on the Facebook page called Matriculation Physics. So here the small one, here the big one. So what is the difference? First, we need to remember back the basic of circle. So in circle here is a circumference of a circle. Okay, ni dia punya ukur lilit, right? And we have a radius from the center, radius, jejari. Okay, so because of both circle that I have, different size, therefore I have different circumference, different uh, bulatan, okay, lilitan bulatan, dan juga I have a different radius, lain jejari. So to understand that, let's see this. Okay. So here I have two circle. At the top is a big circle. At the bottom is the small circle. Okay. So assuming the circle at the top has a radius of 10 cm. Jejari dia 10 cm. Okay. So, if the circle start to rotate from A, move to B, so it start to rotate, okay, so in the clockwise rotation, there will be a change in the angle. the angle will change with time okay as time increase the angle increase as time increase the angle increase right so this one we call as angular and we can find the velocity from a to b that's what we call as mu which is an angular velocity All right, so back to the basic of circle. If you want to find the circumference, so that's the formula to find the circumference, which is S equal to R, the radius, time with the angle of rotation, okay? Assuming it rotating 300 degree, which is a two pi, okay, 300 degree or two pi, so the circumference here I calculate is 10 times 2 pi you get 62.8483 centimeter. Okay. Interesting facts is okay. Interesting interesting fact is if the circle rotate from A and back to its initial position at the top A, okay, the distance of the circle travel will be equal to the circumference, which is the distance or displacement will also be 62.83. Okay. Therefore, if we have a small circle like this with radius of 5 cm, Okay, dengan radius dia 5 cm. So, if we find the circumference, kita cari litan dia using the same formula as displacement or circumference equals to R theta and we assume this rotating at 360 degree. So, the circumference will be 31.415 cm. So, that's the circumference, litan bulatan. And from this position, it rotate clockwise 
back to its initial position, the displacement will be the same, which is 31.415 centimeter. Okay. So back to that. If we find, if we want to find the angle changing with time, we call it as angular velocity given by a formula theta, okay, the angle must be in radian, okay, see in radian, that's why we are used to pi, divide by time t, okay. So assuming for one complete rotation, for one complete rotation, the angle is 360 degree, which also equal to 2 pi radian. So the angular velocity here, okay, I put 2 pi here, therefore I get the angular velocity is 2 pi over t, over the time, where time is the period, we calculate the time for one complete oscillation or one complete rotation. Okay. And the period also can be defined as 1 over f, frequency. So frequency is number of complete oscillation or rotation, oscillation or rotation in one second. So now we have a formula for angular velocity here, 2 pi over t, and period is 1 over f. So equation number one here and equation number two. So two into one, I get this formula. So the angular velocity also can be defined as two pi f. Okay, so that's about the angular velocity. So what, what about the speed? So the speed is as we learn in linear motion, displacement over time. So here we take the circumference over time. If one complete rotation, the circumference, as we mentioned, circumference is measured by R theta. And for one complete oscillation, the theta is equal to 360 degree or 2 pi. Therefore, I put it here. So the circumference or displacement is 2 pi R. So the speed is 2 pi r over t, speed, okay. So we have the first formula here, angular velocity, 2 pi over t, and rearrange the formula for period. So this is a period for time. I get 2 pi over mu. So put it in this formula to replace t. I got v or speed. Okay, here is speed equals to 2 pi r over 2 pi mu. So 2 pi r divided by 2 pi angular velocity. So 2 pi and 2 pi slash. So at the end, we got the speed is the radius time with angular velocity. Okay. So that's the first basic thing related to angular velocity, speed, okay, and how to find the period and the frequency and also the circumference. So now we see the relationship is when the angle, when, when the object is rotating, when a circle, circular object rotate, okay, the angle is changing. So the angle change with time, that's called as angular velocity. And as the object move, it also have a speed. So to find the speed is relate to angular velocity is V equals to R mu. R times angular velocity. Okay, so that's all for this. Uh, okay, 
So before we end, I'd like to see this question. Okay, a toy car rotate, a toy car tires rotate at thirty three point thirty three one over three revolution per minute and has a radius of zero point one five. What is the angular velocity? So the angular velocity must be fine in radian per second. So here we have a revolution per minute. So we must change the revolution per minute to get the angular velocity in radian per second. This is also angular velocity. This is also angular velocity. But this angular velocity is in revolution per minute. So we need to change to radian per second. So 33, 1 over 3, I change to 100 over 3. Okay, revolution per minute. So for one revolution, is one complete oscillation, one complete rotation. So one revolution is actually equal to 2 pi or 360 degree. So revolution cancel. Now here is minute. We need to change to second. So 100 times 2 pi divided by 3 times 60, we get the angular velocity is 3.5 radian per second. The speed at point of its circumference, the speed. So speed is V R mu. R is given here as 0 0.15, this is the radius. So using the formula, 0 0.15, okay, 0 0.15 times with 3.5 radian per second, you get 0 0.52 meter per second. Okay. So this is example for a question related to angular velocity and speed. Okay, so hopefully this uh, basics concept before we move to acceleration and centripetal force. Okay, so hope this helps you in understanding an angular velocity and the basic for circular motion. Bye-bye.